Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the discharge to this lower reservoir when this main pipe is connected in between these two reservoirs and the water is taken from this small pipe of 100 liters. So first, I will read what is the given problem. Two reservoirs are connected by a pipeline of diameter 600 mm and length 4000 meter. The difference of water level in the reservoirs is 20 meter. At a distance of 1000 meter from the upper reservoir, a small pipe is connected to the pipeline. The water can be taken from the small pipe. Find the discharge to the lower reservoir if no water is taken from the small pipe and 100 liter per second of water is taken from the small pipe. Take F is equal to 0 0.005 and neglect minor losses. So this was the given question. In this question we have to find out what is the discharge to the lower reservoir. So there are two cases. So in the first case when the water is flowing through the small pipe that means the small pipe is closed. So in this first condition what is happening only water is flowing from the single pipe A to B. So we have to consider the pipe of length 4000 meter and diameter 0 0.6 meter. Where what is the loss in head? So head loss we have to take that is the difference in between these two reservoirs is 20 meter. So in this question it is mentioned that we have to neglect the minor losses. That means we have to consider major losses and major losses are due to friction. So head loss due to friction we have to take here as a 20 meter. And which is equal to now we have formula 4F LV square by 2GD. So here L is 4000, D is 0 0.6 meter. So when we put here the value that is 20 is equal to 4 into 0 0.005 into 4000 into V square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.6. So in this equation only V is the unknown term and when we calculate V we will get 1.715 meter per second. Now what is the discharge to the lower reservoir? That means in this single pipe we will consider the discharge is Q. So what is the relation in between this V and Q? That is discharge Q is equal to area into velocity and area we can calculate from this diameter. So we will say that Q is equal to pi by 4 into 0 0.6 square into 1.715 which is equal to 0 0.485 meter cube per second. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the second case. So second case is that when 100 liters of water is taken from the small pipe. That means here this small pipe is open and the 100 liter of water is taken. So here this small pipe is connected at a distance of 1000 meter from this initial point. So we will consider here the, as a point C where this small pipe is getting connected. So what is happening? So we will consider that is the discharge is Q1 from this section AC. And here the discharge is Q2 for this section CB. Now if we observe at this point C 100 liter water is taken. So here is the point D where I have shown this 100 liter water is taken. So what is the relation in between this Q1 and Q2? So if we observe this Q1 is equal to Q2 plus 100 liter. But according to standard unit what is the unit of Q1 or what is the unit of discharge? It is meter cube per second. So here we can say that this is 100 is in liters or liter per second. So how we can convert it into liter per second that, that is for, from this liter per second to meter cube per second. So liter per second is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second. So we can say that Q1 is equal to Q2 plus 100 liter per second. Therefore Q1 is equal to Q2 plus 0 0.1 meter cube per second. And also we can write here Q2 is equal to Q1 minus 0 0.1 meter cube per second. Now what is the question? We have to find out discharge to the lower reservoir. 
so here q2 is the discharge to the lower reservoir that means we have to find out this q2 first and q2 is equal to q1 minus 0.1 meter cube per second now here what is the length l1 so for this section ac we will consider the length the, that is given 1000 meter and what is the remaining length for this section cb that is 4000 minus 1000 that is 3000 so l1 is 1000 and l2 is 3000 meter now here diameter remains same that is 0 0.6 meter now we will solve this question now if we observe here we will apply Bernoulli's equation at this water levels to that is at point E and F through this pipe ACB so we have to take this pipe ACB and we have to apply Bernoulli's equation so now we will first take this by this point E. So if we observe here, we have to consider the datum line. So we will consider here the datum line is passing through this point F. So here is the datum line. Now what is the Bernoulli's equation? Pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head. Now at point E, what is the pressure head? It is open to atmosphere. It is zero. What is the kinetic head? So this is the tank. So water in the tank is stationary. So kinetic head is zero. And what is the datum head? So here datum line is passing through this point F. So here is the datum head that is 20. Now we will move for the point F that is E is equal to on the right hand side. So again pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head plus losses. So here pressure head point F is open to atmosphere pressure head 0 kinetic head so here is the water in the tank kinetic head is 0 what is the datum head so datum line is passing through this point F so here datum head is also 0 plus losses so we have to consider here the losses now if we observe this pipe we have to take for what is the frictional losses that are in this pipe a to b but here what is happening for this section ac the discharge is different that is q1 and for this section cb the discharge is q2 that means the losses are also different and we have to add these losses so for the first section that is a head loss due to friction we have to take for the section ac that is 4 f l1 v1 square by 2 g d1 Plus, we have to take head loss due to friction in the section CB. That is 4F L2 V2 square by 2G D2. Now, here L1 and L2 are different. So, now if we observe here, velocity V1 and V2 are also different. So, we have to write this velocity in terms of Q. So, how to write? So, we know that Q is equal to A into V. So, V is equal to Q by A. But here area remains same for Q1, Q2 because diameter is same. Now what about Q1? So here we have to take V1 is equal to. So for first section AC, V1 is equal to Q1 by A. That is pi by 4, 0 0.6 square. So if we simplify this, 4 Q1 by pi, 0 0.36. Now we have to find out this Q2. So we have to replace this Q1 for this Q2. So we will eliminate this q1 so q1 is equal to q2 plus 0 0.1 so i will write here q2 plus 0 0.1 so if i simplify this 4 q2 plus 0 0.4 divided by pi into 0 0.36 now what about section cb so again here v2 is equal to here this q2 divided by a so q2 divided by pi by 4 0 0.6 square which is equal to 4 q2 divided by pi 0 0.36 so now we will put the value of V1 and V2 in terms of Q2. Because if I put here V1 in terms of Q1 and V2 in terms of Q2, then in this equation there are two unknown terms, that is Q1 and Q2. So at a single time in one equation we can find out only one value. And that value we are taking here as a Q2. So here this V1 in terms of Q2 is there. So if I put here all the values, then this is the equation and this equation we have to simplify this now this equation if we observe this is the equation in terms of q2 only 
So now it is easy for us to solve this equation because we have to solve all this calculation and we have to solve all this calculation and here is the q2 square and here is also q2 square. So if we solve this, we will get this equation that is the quadratic equation with second order. So for this second order equation, again we have one formula that is minus b plus minus under root of 4ac divided by 2a. So this is the equation that we have to find out for this value of q because this if we solve this or simplify this whole equation we will get the equation in the second order. So for this we, we have to use this formula. And when we consider here then we have to take only positive sign. So if I put here value of b, a, c, 2a then again there is plus minus sign. So we have to again consider the positive sign and the, then we have to choose that answer and that answer is q2 is equal to 0 0.458 meter cube per second that is that this is the discharge to the lower reservoir because here we should not consider q1 to the lower reservoir here is the discharge q2 so this is the answer